Hello, fellow Unitarian Universalists. This is the time of year that so many congregational ministries are getting into full swing. Kids getting registered for religious education, music ministries moving into full gear. There's an energy to this time of year created by the gathering of our communities, an energy that fills me with gratitude. The power of our congregations to change lives, to save lives, to bring hope and offer deep care and an open heart. To be multi-generational communities where care and nurture extends across the generations. There is power in this work of religious community. I am grateful to all of you Unitarian Universalists out there doing the work of caring for community, of creating brave spaces to share the heartbreak and the possibility of who we can be as liberating communities and what we can offer to our wider world as a religion that knows that our work for justice in the world is inseparable from our theology. I know we are living in volatile times, precarious times, and so much is on the line. I hold each of you and our faith movement as a whole in my daily prayers. It is challenging in this time to find hope, but there is something that I have learned through a lot of ministry and a lot of justice work, and that is this. We can get lost looking at all that is wrong, and if we wish to build more justice more love, more caring in our world, if we wish to embody the beloved community, one of the things that we must do is to live as if that world is already here. Live with the spirit of love and freedom as if it is already here. Find ways to nurture and experience freedom within yourself so that you can share it and inspire it in others. The struggle for justice is essential. And always living in a paradigm of struggle takes its toll. Remember to make room for joy, for laughter, for good food and great friends, to break bread together in community, to play in the mud and the dirt with the kids of your community, to sit in the spacious stillness and welcome the abundance of breath and spiritual practice. Remember the gift that this life is, the precious beauty and gift that every living being is, and savor that. Because we need this joy, this savoring, this care and nurture to keep us whole in these days when so much seeks to strike us down and pull us apart. Our universalist theology reminds us that no one gets cast out that salvation is collective and it is meant for everyone here and now in this life. When we connect in community, in care, and yes, in joy, we remind ourselves of the liberation that we ourselves need and that everyone needs. It reminds us of the irresistible possibility that lives in humanity and in creation if we would just embrace it, believe it, and share it. I have found this a great tool for resiliency and hope to get me back out there into the streets, into the city halls, congressional offices, and bring it into the voting booth. I know what I am fighting for, for the salvation and liberation of every single person. This is a big year, my friends, and we got a lot of work ahead. The issues of human worth and dignity, of human rights, of climate justice, of voting rights, of reproductive justice are all under attack. But we are a people of a prophetic tradition, a people of action who show up and live our faith out loud. And that is what is needed from us now more than ever. I send you my love and my blessings in this time as the new year in our congregations is beginning. May you be held in peace and may you show up with more love for yourself and for one another and for our world in this time.